2 Samuel chapter 21 Then there was a famine in the days of David three years, year after year. And David inquired of the Lord, and the Lord answered, It is for Saul and for his bloody house, because he slew the Gibeonites. And the king called the Gibeonites and said unto them, Now the Gibeonites were not of the children of Israel, but of the remnant of the Amorites. And the children of Israel had sworn unto them, and Saul sought to slay them in his zeal to the children of Israel and Judah. Wherefore David said unto the Gibeonites, What shall I do for you? And wherewith shall I make the atonement, that ye may bless the inheritance of the Lord? And the Gibeonites said unto him, We will have no silver nor gold of Saul, nor of his house, neither for us shalt thou kill any man in Israel. And he said, What ye shall say, that will I do for you. And they answered the king, The man that consumed us, and that devised against us that we should be destroyed from remaining in any of the coast of Israel, let seven men of his sons be delivered unto us, and we will hang them up unto the Lord in Gibeah of Saul, whom the Lord did choose. And the king said, I will give them. But the king spared Mephibosheth, the son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, because of the Lord's oath that was between them, between David and Jonathan, the son of Saul. But the king took the two sons of Rizpah, the daughter of Ai, whom she bare unto Saul, Armoni, and Mephibosheth, and the five sons of Michal, the daughter of Saul, whom she brought up for Adriel, the son of Barzillai, the Meholathite. And he delivered them into the hands of the Gibeonites, and they hanged them in the hill before the Lord, and they fell all seven together and were put to death in the days of harvest, in the first days in the beginning of barley harvest. And Rizba, the daughter of Aiah, took sackcloth and spread it for her upon the rock from the beginning of harvest until water dropped upon them out of heaven, and suffered neither the birds of the air to rest on them by day, nor the beasts of the field by night. And it was told David that Rizpah, the daughter of Aiah, the concubine of Saul, had done David went and took the bones of Saul and the bones of Jonathan his son from the men of Jabesh Gilead, which had stolen them from the street of Bethshon, where the Philistines had hanged them, when the Philistines had slain Saul in Gilboa. And he brought up from thence the bones of Saul and the bones of Jonathan his son, and they gathered the bones of them that were hanged. And the bones of Saul and Jonathan his son buried they in the country of Benjamin in Zelah, in the sepulcher of Kish his father. And they performed all that the king commanded, and after that God was entreated for the land. Moreover, the Philistines had yet war again with Israel, and David went down and his servants with him and fought against the Philistines, and David waxed faint. And Ishbi Benob, which was the sons of the giant, the weight of whose spear weighed 300 shekels of brass in weight, he being girded with a new sword, thought to have slain David. But Abishai, the son of Zeruah, succored him, and smote the Philistine, and killed him. Then the men of David swear unto him, saying, Thou shalt go no more out with us to battle, that thou quench not the light of Israel. And it came to pass after this, that there was again a battle with the Philistines at Gob. Then Sebekai the Hushathite slew Saph, which was of the sons of the giant. And there was again a battle in Gob with the Philistines, where Elhanan, the son of Jaroragim, a Bethlehemite, slew the brother of Goliath the Gittite, the staff of whose spear was like a weaver's beam. And there was yet a battle in Gath, where was a man of great stature, that had on every hand six fingers, and on every foot six toes, four and twenty in number. And he also was born to the giant. And when he had defied Israel, Jonathan the son of Shemaiah, the brother of David, slew him. These four were born to the giant in Gath, and fell by the hand of David, and by the hand of his servants. Second Samuel chapter 22. And David spake unto the Lord the words of this song in the day that the Lord had delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies and out of the hand of Saul. And he said, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, the God of my rock, and him will I trust. He is my shield and the horn of 
my salvation, my high tower, and my refuge, my Savior. Thou savest me from violence. I will call on the Lord, who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from mine enemies. When the waves of death compassed me, the floods of ungodly men made me afraid, the sorrows of hell compassed me about, the snares of death prevented me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried to my God, and he did hear my voice out of his temple, and my cry did enter into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations of heaven moved and shook because he was wroth. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils, and fire out of his mouth devoured. Coals were kindled by him. He bowed the heavens also and came down, and darkness was under his feet. And he rode upon a cherub and did fly, and he was seen upon the wings of the wind. And he made darkness, pavilions round about him, dark waters, and thick clouds of the skies. Through the brightness before him were coals of fire kindled. The Lord thundered from heaven, and the Most High uttered his voice. And he sent out arrows and scattered them, lightning and discomfited them. And the channels of the sea appeared, the foundations of the world were discovered. At the rebuking of the Lord, at the blast of the breath of his nostrils, he sent from above, he took me, he drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy and from them that hated me, for they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands hath he recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not wickedly departed from my God, for all his judgments were before me. And as for his statutes, I did not depart from them. I was also upright before him and have kept myself from mine iniquity. Therefore the Lord hath recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to my cleanness in his eyesight. With the merciful thou wilt show thyself merciful, and with the upright man thou wilt show thyself upright. With the pure thou wilt show thyself pure, and with the forward thou wilt show thyself unsavory. And the afflicted people thou wilt save, but thine eyes are upon the haughty that thou mayest bring them down. For thou art my lamp, O Lord, and the Lord will lighten my darkness. For by thee I have run through a troop. By my God have I leaped over a wall. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all them that trust in him. For who is God save the Lord? And who is a rock save our God? God is my strength and power. And he maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hinds feet. And setteth me upon my high places. He teacheth my hands to war, so that a bow of steel is broken by mine arms. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation, and thy gentleness hath made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps unto me, so that my feet did not slip. I have pursued mine enemies and destroyed them, and turned not again until I had consumed them. And I have consumed them and wounded them, that they could not arise. Yea, they are fallen under my feet. For thou hast girded me with strength to battle. Them that rose up against me hast thou subdued under me. Thou hast also given me the necks of mine enemies, that I might destroy them that hate me. They looked, but there was none to save, even unto the Lord, but he answered them not. Then did I beat them as small as the dust of the earth. I did stamp them as the mire of the street, and did spread them abroad. Thou also hast delivered me from the strivings of my people. Thou hast kept me to be head of the heathen, a people which I know not shall serve me. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me as soon as they hear. They shall be obedient unto me. Strangers shall fade away, and they shall be afraid out of their close places. The Lord liveth, and blessed be my rock, and exalted be the God of the rock of my salvation. It is God that avengeth me, and that bringeth down the people under me, and that bringeth me forth from mine enemies. Thou also hast lifted me up on high. Above them that rose up against me, thou hast delivered me from the violent men. 
Therefore I will give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the heathen, and I will sing praises unto thy name. He is the tower of salvation for his king, and showeth mercy to his anointed, unto David, and to his seed forevermore. 2 Samuel chapter 23. Now these be the last words of David. David the son of Jesse said, And the man who was raised up on high, the anointed of the God of Jacob, and the sweet psalmist of Israel said, The Spirit of the Lord spake by me, and his word was in my tongue. The God of Israel said, The rock of Israel spake to me, He that ruleth over men must be just, ruling in the fear of God. And he shall be as the light of the morning, when the sun riseth even a morning without clouds, as the tender grass springing out of the earth by clear shining after rain. Although my house be not so with God, yet he hath made with me an everlasting covenant, ordered in all things and sure, for this is all my salvation and all my desire, although he make it not to grow. But the sons of Belial shall be all of them as thorns thrust away, because they cannot be taken with hands. But the man that shall touch them must be fenced with iron and the staff of a spear, and they shall be utterly burned with fire in the same place. These be the names of the mighty men whom David had. The Tachmanite that sat in the seat chief among the captains, the same was Adino the Esnite. He lift up his spear against eight hundred whom he slew at one time. And after him was Eleazar the son of Dodo, the Ahohite, one of the three mighty men with David, when they defied the Philistines that were there gathered together to battle, and the men of Israel were gone away. He arose and smote the Philistines until his hand was weary, and his hand clave unto the sword. And the Lord wrought a great victory that day, and the people returned after him only to spoil. And after him was Shammah the son of Agi, the Hererite. And the Philistines were gathered together into a troop, where was a piece of ground full of lentils. And the people fled from the Philistines. But he stood in the midst of the ground and defended it and slew the Philistines, and the Lord wrought a great victory. And three of the thirty chiefs went down and came to David in the harvest time unto the cave of Adullam, the troop of the Philistines pitched in the valley of Rephaim. And David was then in an hold, and the garrison of the Philistines was then in Bethlehem. And David longed and said, Oh, that one would give me drink of the water of the well of Bethlehem, which is by the gate. And the three mighty men break through the host of the Philistines, and drew water out of the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate, and took it and brought it to David. Nevertheless, he would not drink thereof, but poured it out unto the Lord. And he said, Be it far from me, O Lord, that I should do this. Is not this the blood of the men that went in jeopardy of their lives? Therefore he would not drink it. These things did these three mighty men. And Abishai, the brother of Joab, the son of Zeruah, was chief among three. And he lifted up his spear against three hundred and slew them, and had the name among three. Was he not most honorable of three? Therefore... He was their captain, howbeit he attained not unto the first three. And Benaiah the son of Jehoiada, the son of a valiant man of Kabzil, who had done many acts, he slew two lion-like men of Moab. He went down also and slew a lion in the midst of a pit in time of snow. And he slew an Egyptian, a goodly man. And the Egyptian had a spear in his hand, but he went down to him with a staff and plucked the spear out of the Egyptian's hand and slew him with his own spear. These things did Benaiah the son of Jehoiada, and had the name among three mighty men. He was more honorable than the thirty, but he attained not to the first three, and David set him over his guard. Azahel, the brother of Joab, was one of the thirty, Elhanan, the son of Dodo of Bethlehem, Shammah the Herodite, Elikah the Herodite, Helez the Peltite, Ira the son of Ekesh the Tekoaite, Abiezer the Anethothite, Mebunai the Hushathite, Zalman the Oahite, Maharai the Netophathite, Heleb the son of Bana, a Netophathite, Etayah the son of Ribai, out of Gebeah of the children of Benjamin, Benaiah the Pirathonite, Hidai of the brooks of Gash, 
Abi Alban, the Arbathite, Az Mave, the Barthomite, Elhaba, the Shulbanite, of the son of Jason, Jonathan, Shama, the Hararite, Ahiam, the son of Sherar, the Hararite, Eliphalet, the son of Ahasbai, the son of the Machathite, Eliam, the son of Ahithophel, the Gilonite, Hezrai, the Carmelite, Parai, the Arbite, Egal, the son of Nathan, of Zobah, Bani, the Gadite, Zalek, the Ammonite, Nahari, the Berothite, Armor bearer to Joab, the son of Zeruah, Ira, an Ithrite, Garaban, Ithrite, Uriah the Hittite, thirty and seven in all. This is the reading of God's holy word.